Microsoft accidentally revealed the official release date of GTA 6, which means a reveal is coming soon, and obviously we've got gameplay to show for that, alongside the voice actors for GTA 5, the beloved Michael Franklin, and soon to be Trevor giving their two cents on what's upcoming, which is honestly groundbreaking. As we dive into it all as we're expecting an announcement of Rockstar soon, because of what we're about to mention, make sure you subscribed with all notifications turned on so that you get this notification as soon as our video goes live, reposting the trailer. Speaking of the trailer release, of course many people anticipated it to be upcoming on the 17th of September 2023, which was the 10 year decade anniversary from the release of GTA 5. Literally all Rockstar had to do to tease GTA 6 was change the colour of their logo that day or put something very cryptic with no context out on social media, but instead they posted today on the official 10th anniversary of Grand Theft Auto V being 5, we would like to thank you our players for incredible support over the years. Considering GTA 5 or the last installment of the Grand Theft Auto series is 10 years or a decade old now, when does that mean GTA 6 is releasing? Well, we might actually have some accurate leaked documentation from Microsoft. As you can see from GTA 6 trailer countdown, GTA 6 is expected to launch next year according to a leaked Xbox document. To back this up, the account published the source and as you can see we're going to be reading that out right now. It states, Strictly Confidential contains business secrets. Take 2 Interactive, which publishes Grand Theft Auto 5, remains many years after its release in 2013 and Red Dead Redemption 2, the highly anticipated Grand Theft Auto VI being 6 is expected to be releasing in 2024. Both games are considered by major digital storefronts such as Steam to have shooter elements. Grand Theft Auto 5 is also available on PlayStation whereas Red Dead Redemption is also available on PlayStation and Stadia. Another follow-up tweet states, another indicator of GTA 6 launching in 2024 is Take 2's earnings report in which they expect a massive revenue of $8 billion next year. If that's the case we should expect a trailer this year mostly in October and as you can see despite linking the article the most important part of it is in the title and the first paragraph stating GTA 6 publisher suggests 2024 will be a very profitable year wink wink Take 2 is predicting a very profitable next few years with numbers that only a new GTA game could provide honestly Q4 being the final three months of 2023 if it is launching next year would be the perfect time to drop the first reveal trailer introducing us to the brand new island of Grand Theft Auto 6 of course it's projected and data miners or leakers found that apparently it's going to be like twice if not 2.5 times as big as the GTA 5 island which by the way is a cool little easter egg you'll never look at it the same looks like a ninja turtle and despite us knowing the voice actors or even actors for Lucia and also Jason across Instagram which got revealed based off you know the leaked gameplay screenshots and the fact that you know everything seems to be matching up with their social posts we also have the GTA 5 three main protagonists from the story Michael and Franklin so far coming out basically doing these weird cryptic trailers to get the community talking about what this could mean for instance Franklin at the end of this trailer looks at something in a briefcase that the viewer doesn't have access to see and then most recently Ned Luke who plays Michael as GTA 6 trailer countdown states confirms that GTA 6 will be worth the wait and expects it to easily surpass GTA 5's record breaking launch which exceeded 1 billion dollars in just 3 days of course with that said for the full context here is that clip from Ned Luke right now is Ned Luke aka Michael DeSantis for Grand Theft Auto 5 all right, so we just crossed the threshold of 10 years, right? 10 freaking years of Grand Theft Auto V. I just want to give a big shout out to the fans because we all know, hashtag, the fans are the game. So thanks a lot. 10 years. Keep playing. And only what? Maybe five years of those? Or where the fuck is GTA 6? Patience, guys. It'll be worth the wait. Trust me. Five was worth the wait. Six is going to be even more worth the wait. So keep playing five, have fun, and remember, you forget a thousand things every day. How about you make sure this is one of them? And stop firing rockets at my house. Happy 10. This video over on his official TikTok already has 5.2 million views. Of course, it definitely is a marketing strategy that Rockstar, I'm guessing, have like, you know, coordinated with Michael, Franklin, and potentially even Trevor to do a video hyping it up next before their marketing season or where they thrive in October, as GTA 6 Countdown also states over on their Twitter right here. As you can see from the image attached to this as well, and this guy literally just hit 70k, so you know the hype's already real for GTA 6. Despite them, you know, changing their banner for Red Dead Redemption 2 on October 16th, 
2016. We then got a trailer for it in October, Red Dead Redemption 2, four days later. So from applying that to what we've got for Take Two right here, there was a conference call in May 2023, forecasting a massive 8 billion in the net bookings between April 2024 and March 2025. So does this mean, based off this correlation, we're projected a trailer for this or our first look at the game October or early November? The world right now, honestly, is just on the edge of their seats waiting for anything to pour out officially from Rockstar instead of just responding to the leaked gameplay and the files, which actually is a year onward from this announcement that they published to social media doing so. For those that don't know too, this is literally the kid who used an Amazon Fire Stick in a hotel nearby to Rockstar headquarters that actually leaked all of that GTA 6 gameplay. We can't show it in videos of course, but here's some screenshots of different scenarios in this very early alpha-like form. Sadly, as of now, we don't have any insights to some of the bizarre happenings that will happen in the brutal world of Grand Theft Auto, especially in the sixth installment. However, Rockstar are already anticipating backlash due to real-life scenario recreations or replications in the game. As GTA Countdown stated, Rockstar's publisher says GTA could seriously affect their business due to activists opposing products containing sensitive content. This, of course, is going to be, you know, people on the internet nowadays wanting to argue about anything or the work community mostly if something seems like too brutal or shouldn't be included appropriately in a video game, but yet again, it's an 18+. plus. Of course, one of the biggest flexes or things that people like to get or customise in Grand Theft Auto as a whole, especially GTA 5, are the cars or overall vehicles, which beyond buying garages full of supercars extends to then air vehicles, being arguably the most costly and flex-worthy items one can earn online, and apparently, according to GTA 6 News, in this video he posted earlier, although he's deleted now, I think it literally got striked or something, there's a cutscene that people believe is the GTA 6 airport, and this being a screenshot right here. Whether or not this is an official screenshot, I guess we're yet to know, but of course, from taking to AI, based off of how Jason looks in-game from the gameplay screenshots that have already been leaked, this is what we've managed to recreate as today's thumbnail as to what viewing an airport or going to one could look like in Grand Theft Auto 6. It'll be funny to compare this screenshot to when it actually releases of actual airport gameplay, or scenery, as it's obviously going to be like something we've never seen before, and because of that, many people were believing this baseline rumour that the standard edition will cost $150, while the CEO of Rockstar's publisher has recently stated that a $70 price tag is reasonable for AAA games. Of course, that doesn't mean to say there'll be other bundles that cost around $150, with perhaps real-life collectibles or codes to redeem, with exclusivities for certain people who do buy bundles or even attach to consoles, which we know, or should I say it's at least been rumoured with the release of the PlayStation 5 Pro now. Next year, we're going to be seeing a Grand Theft Auto 5 PS5 Pro bundle. Of course, this is very exciting for the development of this console now, receiving, you know, its pro version or kind of the midway life cycle, especially combined with some of the unique things we're going to be seeing graphically reimagined in GTA 6, such as reportedly a space center inspired by NASA called Sarah. This will allow players to watch in game rockets launching into space for the first time in the series that may fail and cause an explosion. Of course, you can already bet right now we're going to be going into space or of the actual Grand Theft Auto Island in some of the single player missions, maybe even hijacking one of these rockets, it'd be fun to see. Honestly, there's so many things to look forward to, especially with everything pouring out from the voice actors of GTA 5 recently, so let me know down below in the comments what you're looking forward to the most with the sixth instalment literally being revealed just around the corner. Drop a like on this one if you learned something you are enjoyed and subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the future news or uploads. In terms of where you go to now though, click either of these two videos YouTube's recommended you are picked out for you on screen whilst you wait for the very next upload we do publish on the channel.